the health organizations constantly recommend you to eat vegetables and fruit. How much? Five servings or about 500 grams a day. So what if you are like active person who cares about their health and you suddenly started eating 500 grams of fruit? It has over 500 calories and over 145 grams of sugar. But isn't that too much sugar? Well, there is the difference. Sugar in other sugar or sugar coming from fruit is different. Sure, it metabolizes into glucose in your body, but you eat it in a different way. How you eat it is different. You have that whole package. Fruit is a whole package. It's not only sugar. It's not only like glucose, the end product, what it is metabolized in. It is connected in that food matrix, as it is called, with fiber. It contains phytochemicals. These are vitamins, minerals, uh, antioxidants, and other chemicals that are in plants. And these are beneficial for us. Nobody can argue with that. So even if it contains so much sugar, fruit is still healthy for you. So don't be worried about it. This conundrum is even more striking with watermelon. I'd need to eat four and a half cups of watermelon to get 50 grams of digestible carbs. That's nearly an entire watermelon. But what if you decided to make like a smoothie and try to drink it? That cannot be possibly healthy for you because you now drink it and you spike your sugar really, really quickly. Well, when we look at the sugar spikes or blood glucose, blood sugar spikes, it's problem only if it's like constantly elevated, if we have that constant elevation throughout the day. So we should not be really worried about that maximum spike. Two hours after a meal, uh, if you're normal, if you don't have diabetes, it should be 140 or less or 7.8 or less. We should be concerned more about spiking that insulin over a long period of time. So a better measurement for that is hemoglobin H1C. And this is what you can get checked at your doctors. But uh, having said that, I'm not a fan of smoothies for people who just want to be generally healthy. I'm a fan of chewing that food and eating it, digesting it slowly. By the way, I have a video that compares actually smoothie versus an oatmeal for breakfast, how it affects your body and how you can make it healthier. Check it here. But we have that food matrix. So what it means, it will release that sugar slowly. And even if you drink it in form of smoothie, but in real life conditions, I haven't anyone just, you know, down that 500 grams or 600 grams, 700 grams, if you add some liquid to it, smoothie within a minute. They usually drink it over a period of like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, even half an hour. So that is a big difference and that will play a role in how your body reacts, how the sugar spikes in your blood. And I also noticed that people who drink these smoothies, they also probably don't sit in front of TV, on the couch, not moving. And usually these are people who are very active. And what we know also after an activity, your blood sugar will, you know, go down. It really helps. So if you have muscle, if you are an active person, if you're like an athlete, I don't think you should be concerned about it. But I'm also not fan or proposing to be drinking smoothies containing like six, seven bananas, you know. So I would like to see there like maybe some veggies with that, like frozen spinach or fresh spinach. Uh, some source of protein to go along with that to make it more balanced but it all depends on your goals how active you are and so on in the end the most metabolic damage that we can cause to ourselves is really overeating and eating too much food getting fat and this is where most of this trouble whether it is like related to sugar intake or fat intake or meat intake or whatever comes from not all, but most of that. And, you know, eating too much fruit, that's not really happening in the society. We don't see that. 
outside of special circumstances and these are like fruitarians who eat a lot of fruit and they have like low intake of protein they have low very very low intake of fat which is essential for our life outside of that it's not happening or i haven't seen that but what about fructose you know fructose causes fatty liver disease once again there have been some studies and some people point out to like fructose and actually fructose is only like half of the sugars contained within fruit so if you eat like 20 apples well the fructose might be like a problem but the real problem here is even if those mechanisms happen even if we can see these studies. Analyses where they looked at isocaloric substitutions of fructose with other carbohydrate, they saw no changes in the incidence of liver fat. This is a calorie effect. Too much energy is toxic. Too much energy is what causes increases in liver fat. If you are at energy maintenance or in an energy deficit, your body will clear out excess fat. I'm not saying you can't have increased liver fat through other mechanisms than just energy surplus. But the studies have been generally done on rats or the observational studies in people, but where does that fructose come from when it has like a negative impact that they observed? Well, it doesn't come from fruit once again. It's coming from processed food, from added sugars in sweetened beverages and from fast foods. So once again, while fructose can be connected to that fatty liver disease and maybe other metabolic conditions, you know, it's not from food. It's not from fruit specifically. So I don't think you should be really worried about eating too much fruit unless you are displacing those other nutrients like fat and protein and even fiber from other f that you would be getting from other fruit. But uh, I generally also advised eating fruit to at least because it is uh, easy to digest. Even some huge proponents of like carnivore diet or ketogenic diet even included like, honey and raw fruit in their diet. I'm here with my daily supply of bananas to tell you guys why I eat fruit. It's simply the best way to get carbohydrates with the least amount of plant toxins. So, I mean, if, if you have even those people agreeing that fruit is healthy for you, man, I mean, it's amazing. Anyway, so I hope that cleared out some things for you. I hope that you found this valuable. And if you did, let me know in the comments, like, share, subscribe, and see you in the next video. As always, Check the studies in the description, like, share, subscribe if it was helpful to you. And let me know if you have any questions, post them down in the comments below and we can discuss this further.